thrill, go ahead. Ow! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Katie Ullman. Here with actor, comedian, entrepreneur, Jim Greenleaf, here at the Comedy Store on Sunset Boulevard. When did you start performing here at the Comedy Store? Well, it was about 1979. Uh, it, it looked just like this, um, as n nothing's changed, uh, but what a great group of people. It had to be in that day, you had to walk through the comedy store to make it in Hollywood. Mitzi Shore, um, it, it, was, it was amazing what she would do, but she'd sit in the back and you'd audition for at least a year. You'd start with three minutes and get bigger and bigger. Uh, and every Monday night would, would be the auditions. You have to get like four o'clock in the afternoon, get in line until they get to know you a little bit. And then you'd get in the next group, you know, next cloud. And in that group we had Jim Carrey, uh, had his guitar, um, uh, used to play for us and, and did all his voices and everything before he made it. Roseanne Barr, uh, uh, David Letterman, um, uh, Jay Leno. David Letterman, I actually, out of the Navy, uh, the, the next day I came down here, I wanted to be, be stand-up comic. Uh, so I came down, I was sitting in the very front row, and, and David comes up to me and says, you know, because he was emceeing, he says, what do you do for a living? I said, I want to be a comic. He goes, well, right here at the comic store, get up! So I got up. I went on stage, I did two things that I had done in high school. One was a heart operation pantomime, yeah. and another one was a golfer who was scared when he was shooting. Um, and it's pretty physical, funny stuff, but um, you know, I, I went and sat down afterwards, I was done, and he walked up to me and he says, here's his card, call him tomorrow, right? So I didn't, I went home, you know, I was just day out of the Navy, so <clears throat> back in the day. So, so I, I'm sleeping late, I get a phone call. He says, he says how come you're not here? I, I grabbed the car, it says Norman Lear. So I got in the car, I raced down here. They did a show called, it was called All That Glitters. It was a role reversal uh, that um, uh, that we did. Uh, Jim Thicke um, um, was the director, uh, producer. Um, Al Burton, uh, producer, and of course Norman. Uh, and uh, I got the part that day. I was over 21, I was 21 playing a 16 year old. My, you, you still look young. Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Thank you so much. Um, uh, 55. No, not a day over 40. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm, I'm digging her. I'm digging it. <laughs> um, uh, so, so I went down. I started filming that day. I played Chuck, uh, Chuck McKen and Lois Nelson's uh, son. Uh, uh, Barbara Baxley, Anita Gillette. I mean, the cast was amazing. Did 65 shows and they, and they canceled it. Then I went on the next day and I started uh, as a casting coordinator uh, in, in, in the group there uh, for Fernwood Tonight with Martin Mull and, uh, and that was a good run. We did that and then it just things, things came to go and then all of a sudden I had a family and then it becomes life and death. Yes. You know, it really did. And uh, uh, so I had to think about other things to do with my, my life at that point. I'd, I'd get in and out of roles, but you know, when you get a role down here, it's, I mean, you, you walk through the gate, it's, it, they love you. When you're not working on that job, it's impossible to get on that lot, you know, real cut and dry. Uh, but it was an incredible time here uh, for, for all that, that period of time. Did you always know you wanted to be a comic? Yes. For some reason, every year in school, I was in the, uh, the, the, the drama class. Um, I used to, as a senior, uh, Katie, what I did was I, um, I actually, uh, on senior, on lunch, on lunch, I would perform improv uh, for, for the senior on the senior lawn. Oh, wow. It was a lot of fun. I was an original member of the Groundlings. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. In, in, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, that was a great time, too. Um, a good friend of ours now, um, uh, um, a good friend of ours now, my mind went blank. Um, who am I speaking of? Uh, Groundlings, Saturday Night Live, Tracy, Newman. Tracy Newman. Okay, okay. So, so, so Lorraine Newman, yeah. uh, I was in the same class she was, the very first one, as was Tracy, her oh. sister. Now Tracy went on, now the executive producer of The Ellen Show, she won an Emmy for, for the show that, that, that uh, uh, she came out in, um, and now she's retired, she's quit, walked away, and she's doing her, she sings, and she's amazing. Uh, so, so that's a lot of fun, but, but a lot, a lot, a lot of history and a lot of life. What's I Live today? Well, thank you so much. Um, what I've done is um, I decided to go back into acting after I raised my family uh, in 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 uh, '05. Um, I, I went to go back, uh, and and as I started to go back, I'm sorry, '05, '09, um, and and when I started to go back, the um, the, the, the actor strike happened. 
uh, the, I mean, the, the, the writer's strike. Right, right. So, and I had kept current my SAG card and after for all those 20 years uh, and doing stuff in between and stuff. Uh, but the strike happened. So I thought, what am I going to do? You know? So I found myself at, the, um, at Best Buy. They had a wall of webcams. And there are people from eight years old to 90 asking all these questions. Well, I, I went and looked at it and thought about it. In, o, in 05, uh, it, it was 05. In 05, they had just started social networking yeah. platforms like, um, like Stick Cam and Operator 11, places like that, where you actually got a virtual studio. Uh, and all that years being in front of the camera, it sure, sure is easy to do. What were happening were all these people uh, were online, but talking in the chat room, and the cameras were on them, but no, no one's talking. You know, this is the 05. So I, I saw an opportunity here. Uh, so I created, because uh, I was going back to acting, I wanted to be Santa. A real bearded Santa. Yeah, yeah, you do look like Santa. Thank you. Yeah. Santa, SantaLiveNow.com. Yeah. I am the internet Santa of the world. Wow. Amazing. Oh, over half a million uh, views during Christmas in, in my live podcast show. Wow. And what insight do you have into Santa? Tell me, tell me a secret about the, about the North Pole. Okay. Here's. I was I was filling in for uh, for Santa at a mall up in San Francisco, Ceremony Mall, and it was it was New Year's it was New Year's Christmas Eve, at six o'clock. The, the twelve year old boy is sitting on my lap, and he says to me, "Okay, I know you're not Santa." I said, "Why would?" What are you talking about? How do you know that? Because I was just at home and you were delivering presents over Australia. I was watching on NORAD. I said, okay, I'm going to tell you this. Okay? Here's the deal. On the sleigh, there's an anti-gravity propulsion unit. And not only do I go back and forth in time, but I go sideways. I've been delivering presents for a week now. He goes, I knew it. I knew you were Santa. Uh -huh. So so what we do, my wife is Kitty Santa, and uh, we we perform, uh, we, we go online a lot and, and do a lot of stuff, and uh, it's, it's just it's so much fun uh, to bring real joy and happiness. Cause I, I'm, I'm over the top with it. Yeah. And, and what's funny is when I, when I walk in the room, with, I'm sorry, with Kitty um, uh, with me, everybody says, there's Santa, there's Santa, and in 10 minutes she owns the room. But, but it's, it's a true fun thing to do. And By the way, oh, last Christmas yes. I was the Santa for AT and T Uverse. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, my daughter was executive producer. <laughs> yeah. So they, they cast me. She came to me and said, "Dad, it's your part to lose." Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. So it was the tw last twenty four hours of his of his trip, and I was him all over the world. Congratulations. Okay. Are, do you have some more Santa appearances coming up? Well, not. We I got, mean, I guess not in the near future, but. Well, it's two hundred eighty nine days away. Yeah. Oh, you're counting. I have to. Yeah. Yeah, get get that a lot, um, uh, but um, not not till then. Uh, uh, now now it's it's all trimmed, and it, now we're gonna let it grow out again. Yeah. We do it every year that way. So how long does it have to be? Is there a minimum? No, no. But there's a classification. I'm a real bearded Santa. Yeah. So everything is real. I don't diet or nothing. It just comes out really nice and. Uh, um, uh, just keep the attitude and, and giving the spirit of Christmas. If anything, we get the spirit of Christmas uh, every day. You know, that's what we try to do. Well, and what's the true spirit of Christmas to you? Is is uh, acts of random kindness. Um, I'm taking care of the less fortunate. Um, I'm helping people. I'll tell you, I'm 55 years old. A lot of baby boomers are have shut down totally, and and there's really not a Santa and a kitty for for adults. And that's kind of where we're moving. We go to a lot of retirement homes and things like that. And, and I, I had a 90-year-old I had a woman sitting on my lap crying because she had never sit on Santa's lap. Amazing. So that's what we bring to it. And we just feel that, that every day it should be a, a spirit of giving. You know, we should be concerned about everybody. What we want to do is we want to um, occupy our heart 100%. What are your goals for the future? Well, um, actually, to, to take that forward, um, we're going to start doing lectures and going out and, uh, and be, being that couple. We call it Young Love After 50. Aww. Because God blessed the crooked road that led me straight to her. And she's a healer. And so us together, it's just amazing um, what we can bring and, and open up with people. And it's, it's, just, it's just been a, a true blessing. God has been good. And where's the best place we can find out more information on you and the work that you're doing online? Well, of course, there's the Santa, which is SantaLiveNow.com. Okay, then there's iLive Today, 
uh, ilivetoday.com. And uh, of course, Jim Greenlee, if you go to I, my IMDb um, and show you what, what I'm doing there. Uh, we're, we're writing a movie. Um, I'm getting ready to do a doc. Like, I'm getting ready to be done to me a document of my life. Um, of the kind of strange things that have happened. And it was so funny because my daughter, who's the executive producer, um, she, she said, Dad, we're, we've been looking for a year to do this, but we're not going to do it because you're not happy. There's no happy ending with this. Well, I met her last year, and she has changed my life. I'm talking about Marva, my wife. And uh, just been, we're, we're, we're going together, uh, creating us, and uh, it, it's just very magical. So finally, uh, my daughter says, okay, here's where we're going to do it this year, Dad. We're going to get in motion. We're going to do it because now, now you have a happy ending. So, so we're excited about that. Congratulations. When did you get married? Uh, actually, on, on, New Year's, on New Year's Eve in Death Valley at the Lights Hot Springs with our robes on. Wow, very romantic. Yep, yeah, where the, the Iroquois Indian world, and of course I had to do this. Hey, na, ya, na, ho, na, na, hey, ya, no, ya. Wow. Well, thank you so much and congratulations on your love and on all of your upcoming projects. Well, thank you so much and thank you for, for discovering me on the internet and, okay. and getting us together. It's the future, it's the way of the world, it's the new order. Now, for Christmas, I want. No, I'm just sure. kidding. <laughs> well, okay. Remember, you have 100, 289 days to get on the right list, so just make sure you do. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. And Merry Christmas, and here's a cuddly hug. <laughs> Katie, what do you want for Christmas? Um, I would like a pony. <laughs> Horses are tough to take care of, Katie. <laughs> How about a Barbie doll? <laughs> Okay. okay. For the, the one that comes with the horse, though. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's real. Go ahead. Ow! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Katie Chats. If you like the show, please subscribe. And if you're curious to know what I'm doing when I'm not interviewing, please click here. I'm also an actress and recently produced my first short film and would love for you to check out the trailer. Thank you.